Hello, everyone. Today is October 5th, 2024. And I'm just going to go over an analysis and a strategy as to how I look at the pairs. What I'm looking at is an H4 chart with the 5, 12, 60 moving averages. I have the four hour crossover and I have the daily crossover over here, okay? So what I look for is first the four hour crossover after the three ball. So if I mark that, this is where I start looking for trades. Now, since this, the, the four hour, the daily is not in sync, and the four hours the highest time frame. I have to look on the 15 minute chart to see where my entry is. So if I go to the 15 minute chart and uh, pull up the area right here where it crossed over, you can see this is a four hour on, on this chart. Now what I'm looking for is a retrace, two ball or three ball with an entry. So this is my first initial entry, but I'm not awake at this point and I'm not awake over here. So here's my retrace. Now I'm not getting an arrow here. So I can drop it down to the one minute chart. Hopefully I have data. Don't have data, so I'll go to the five minute chart. And here's my entry, okay? Now, I got this trade from the four hour chart, but I've taken my entry on the five minute. And here's my uh, stop loss, there's this 20 pips. And uh, I go back to the four hour and I see that there's no sync over here. So I go back to the one hour. I still don't see anything. Go to the 15 minute and there's my sync. Okay. However, I'm following this trade on the four hour chart. And what I'm following is the four hour sync. I mean, cross. And it doesn't cross over, right? But if I'm doing it on a daily basis, I'm looking at the 15 minute chart and it crosses over over here. That's my exit. And that gives me 85 pips, okay? So now I come in the next day and I'm over here and I look at the four hour chart to see what's happening and I'm still seeing that the four hour is crossed. So I'm still looking for a short. And I, Go back to my 15 and I'm looking for a retrace, which happens over here. And at this point, I'm on the one minute, hopefully I have data for the one minute for this one. Okay, and here's my, the 15 minute three ball with a yellow arrow. And that's my entry. Normally the entry would be here, you know, below the 60, retrace below the 60. Let's say I take this entry. Now let's say I take the worst one, which is over here. And I'm back on the 15 measurement. Now this is a 11 pip stop loss. Now I'm on the 15 minute chart. And I don't get much out of this, right? Break even. Then I get another opportunity here. I'm back on the one minute chart. My entry is over here. My stop loss is over here. So this is the one minute, I mean 15 minute arrow in the one hour. So they're both in sync, re three ball retrace. And I get the yellow arrow, which is a down. Oh, okay, down trade. 
So this one is a nine pip stop loss. I am on 15 minute again. And here is my exit. And that only gave me 17 pips. Okay. So not bad. Hard work. Then I'm back over here. And then I look at my, and this is the daily turnover. I'm looking at the four hour and everything's turnover. Back on the 15, I don't see a retrace. Okay. So to look at the five and here's my retrace. And I look at the one minute and there is my entry right there. We will retrace arrow. Okay. And this is my stop loss. And this is 15 pip stop loss. Now, since the our daily is turned over, I'm looking at the one hour chart. And I want to follow that. And here is, you know, at the end of the day. And that's. 60 pips. Now, I'm uh, over here. And this is the NFP announcement. So I have 80 plus 20, let's say, plus 60. And that's 160 pips. Now I'm back on the five minute chart and see if there's a retrace for me to work out. This is the NFE, so I would be on the one minute chart anyway. Let's take a look. And the one minute, here was the entry. That's before the knees. So if you didn't feel like doing that, you waited for that and you took an entry here, and your stop loss would be there. And you're back on the one hour. Technically, you're still in the trade, and you're at a loss right now, okay? So, Eh, 160 pips for the week, three trades, and you're looking starting with the four hour, again the four hour turnover, then the daily, depending on, and depending on this is the time frame that you're trading. So this is the 15 minute, and this is the one hour. Okay, now this looks honky dory. The pound yen was not that clean, right? So here we go. This one here, we start the week, is the fresh cross has already happened. Now you get a three ball with a fresh cross over here. Now, where is the daily of this? The daily is already along. So this is going to be a five minute entry, one hour trade. So if I go down to the five minute, uh, let's track it first. And what we're going long. Around to the five minute. And 15 minute turns, uh, the one hour turns over. So there's no trade. All right. So go back to the one hour. You're already looking for longs. And there's long. The five minute. And Here's the retrace with an entry. Now, if you don't like that, you can go down to the one minute and refine it, which will be this down here. Okay. And your entry would be, let's say about this, instead of the breakout field. Stop loss. And the end is, uh, I have to take small loss because the stop loss is going to be high. Uh, that's 40 pip stop loss. 
Now, this is the daily in H4 are matching, so we are on the H1. And our exit is here. I take that exit. That's still 140 pips. Okay. So uh, that's not bad. Now uh, let's take a look at the next entry. Next entry is over here. Down to the one minute or five minutes. Okay, five minutes is not, it gave you the retrace here. It really doesn't look that good. So this took the one minute chart and it's giving you an entry right away. And if you miss that, then here's your entry. Let's take that one. And your stop loss is over here. 25th stop loss, back on the H1. And we made 272 pips. Now, this is obviously before the NFP, and if we did want to risk that, we'd be looking out over here. And we would be on the one minute chart. And the entry is right there. That's the first minute of the news. Stop loss is here. This is a pretty wide stop loss, small pips, almost 100 pips stop loss. Is pips, right? Yeah. So it'll be one fourth the lot size, whatever lot size you're taking. And it would be up. Uh, 150 to 140 pips. Not bad. So on a pair that's not looking great, you can still trade it. All depends on where your daily is, where your three ball is, and then your white arrows. Okay, now, I wonder if there's a pair that doesn't look so great. Let's look at gold. Okay, gold. So I don't see the daily arrow on this. Now there's a daily. So we're looking at, at a long, but the three walls up here. And I'm not going to take a counter trend of this three wall it's here. So no trade. And for those of you trading the Dow index, here's the daily, here's the entry. was the only entry of the week. And you go down to the five minute. Here's the retrace. If you want to get earlier than that, you get the one minute. And your entry is here. Let's say over here. And I'll mark that entry. Now this is after US trading hours. I mean, this London is closed basically. And so we look at the one hour and you're still in the trade and you made 267 pips at point 0.1 lot. Okay, the stop loss here is 10 pips. So you'll be trading the full lot, uh, which is the point one, and that's 26 hours. Hope that makes sense. How uh, we started from the four hour and worked our way down to see where, based on the daily and the arrow, in support of the daily, I'm not trading this downwind. Okay, hope that makes sense. Have a good one. Bye.